ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ആം മേഘ്ന തോമസ് ആൻഡ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു അവർ ചാനൽ ഗോൾഡൻ എപ്ലസ് ഏവിയേഷൻ പൈലർ ട്രെയിനിങ് അക്കാഡമി യുവർ റൂട്ട് ടു ദ കോക്ക് പിറ്റ് ഹാവ് യു എവർ വണ്ടേഡ് ഹാവ് ഹൈ ടു ദി എയർ പ്ലെയിൻസ് ഫ്ലൈ വെൽ ദ ക്രൂസിംഗ് ആൾട്ടിറ്റ്യൂഡ് ഓഫ് എ കമേഴ്ഷ്യൽ എയർക്രാഫ്റ്റ് ഡിപ്പെൻസ് ഓൺ ദി സൈസ് ഓഫ് ദി പ്ലെയിൻ ബട്ട് ജനറലി മോസ്റ്റ് കമേഴ്ഷ്യൽ പാസഞ്ചേഴ്സ് ജെറ്റ് ക്രൂസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ തേർട്ടി ടു തൗസൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ഫോർട്ടി തൗസൻഡ് ഫീറ്റ് which can be 6 to 7 and a half miles off the ground turboprop planes which are smaller aircraft that typically carry a handful of passengers rather than hundreds fly at lower altitudes that could be around 25000 to 30000 feet but since these propeller planes are often used for short haul flights they may stick to lower altitudes simply because by the time they reach a higher altitude it would be time to begin their descent Coming to this have you ever thought what happens if an airplane flies too high let me tell you a story about Icarus a character from the greek mythology who flew too close to the sun and perished when his wings melted passenger planes aren't at a risk of melting when it flies too high but there is cabin pressure and oxygen concerns that dictate that they remain below set altitudes Airlines impose altitude limits to ensure that there is enough oxygen supply to all the masks for the amount of time it takes to accomplish to descend to an altitude where the oxygen masks would not be required. You could also have a sudden case of cabin depressurization. A loss of cabin pressure can occur if a plane flies too high and if that happens passengers and crew including pilots can lose consciousness. When it happens with a fighter it's a simple matter of rolling over and going straight down back to a comfortable altitude in less than a minute but it's not the same for commercial aviation you could also experience an equipment failure almost all modern aircrafts have sophisticated computers monitoring the aircraft weight speed your outside air temperature wind speed and direction the angle of the wind relative to the aircraft and so on If a pilot were to try climbing above the recommended altitude and produce enough thrust to keep climbing the wings would stall. So the bottom line is when you are a pilot you would want to stick to the recommended altitude. Hope you find my video informative and you keep following our channel for more such informative videos and updates. What are you waiting for? Come let's fly.